Ain't no chemical like the one I got Rolling down our 20 Ain't got no worries cause I make a lot Rolling down our 20 I ain't got a care cause I make this bread Baby coming home sometime soon And when I get there gonna be rich <laughs> ah, it's a uh, it's making progress I have a much better version to that uh, song there I'm not gonna release it just yet though that's me just tinkering around a little bit but these Kenworths man these are great I love them I haven't had a single breakdown in seven months. It's got 269,459 miles on it. When I hopped on into it, ah, let's see, I received it with about 100 and, 142,000 miles. My life to date miles are like, Almost 70,000 miles, I think. Not sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm, I'm not positive. But it's it's definitely... It was over 59,000 like a month and a half ago or something like that. But... You know, some guys, they have a lot of problems with them. And others... You know, nothing. For for a while, I did my low check tire check the other day and found that my rear passenger side inner wheel came off the beat. Filled it back up with air, rolled down the highway a few miles, checked it, and it came off the beat again. So I had to get that serviced. I got it fixed quick, uh, you know, B service, A service, that's always quick, especially rolling through the terminal in Loretto, never a lot of waiting, man, I, what else have I gotten done on this truck, though, you know, that's it, man, just regular A and B service, and something with the exhaust, I was getting I was getting the fumes thrown back in here when I would turn on the air conditioning. So they fixed that. It took literally 20 minutes for them to fix that. But that's it, man. You know, these Kenworth T680s, you know, they're, they're good. They're good. Now when it comes to Packer motors, based on me knowing and conversing with other owner operators Scott Barnes man shout out to you buddy my good friend Scott you know he says backers are basically crap you know you can't push them as far as you can a cat you know or a DD15 so you know it is what it is man if you google it they'll say that packers the best and as far as I can, you know, I'm not going to go and vouch for Packer because I just haven't run long enough in one. When I ran the Freightliner at JB Hunt, fantastic, fantastic engines. That DD15 is no joke. It's great. Never been in a truck with a cat motor, so I don't know. But so far, you know, almost 70,000 miles on it, and uh, no motor work has been done. Not yet. As soon as something happens, it's not a matter of if, you know, obviously it's when. I'll let you guys know, man. But thus far, the entire time here at the new company, which I'm still not saying who I'm driving for, if you want to find out, Link is in the description box below. 
hundred dollars for tarping. If you're new to this channel, I am a flat better. I just reached 19 months of experience. Approaching two years here pretty soon. First year, you know, delivering all over Los Angeles, Phoenix, Tucson, Northern California, all over California, Vegas, you know. Then about a good six consistent months of all local deliveries around Los Angeles, Orange County, Anaheim, you know, all that. And now I'm fitting in, or getting in another, a second year doing flatbed, tarping, strapping, chaining, binding, grinding. Making that buck, making that dollar. So, yeah, if you want to find out information, it's in the description box below. But as soon as anything goes wrong, I'll let you guys know. At this company, service is fast, man. We have terminals in Loretto, Birmingham, Masri, Ohio, El Paso, and uh, name the other ones that I might be missing, but yeah, that is, uh, oh, of course, Tulsa. Can't forget Tulsa. So, congratulations to the new hires. Be safe, all right? STOP, stop, think, observe, and plan. Aim high and steering, get the big picture. Keep your eyes moving, leave yourself an out. Make sure they see you. My entire first year, I had the Smith system running through my head constantly. And I focused on each and every one of those points every single day. And I still do. Always be in the rookie mentality. You'll have more experience, sure. But the moment that you think you got it going on is the time to get out of the driver's seat. Let someone else who's going to take the job seriously in. I had an incident on I-20 yesterday between Jackson, Mississippi and uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. Came to a stop, man. There was two fatalities. They burned to death. The incident happened... By the time I got to it, it was about maybe 15 miles up the road. And that freeway came to a stop fast. Make sure you leave yourself that out. Aim high in steering. Even when you're aiming high in steering, when you're traveling at 50, 65 miles an hour and it comes to a stop, get ready. The trucker in front of me got the hell off of the highway, onto the shoulder, when it came to stopping me. Was my heart pumping, you guys? Was my heart pumping? Adrenaline rush, man. My truck rocked and swayed when I braked, man, and took my foot back off the brake. You don't have time to think sometimes, man. You don't. You just react. And it shouldn't be like that. You should always be proactive. I admit that I was following a little too closely. I wasn't, you know, tailgating or anything. I never do that. But I could have left some more distance. I'm a professional driver. I know better. Because when it comes to a stop, that's it. There's no reduce. There's no going back in time and getting a second life for you or anyone else out there. It's very, very serious. Shit happens quick. That's why a lot of guys end up throwing in the towel. You know, it's not that they can't handle the pressure. It's just that you know, to them, it's it's not worth the risk. And as long as you're careful and you exercise those points of the Smith system every single day, drill them into your mind, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. I had to pull off onto the shoulder as well to make sure. Now, me, it was really only monkey see, monkey do. He pulled off, so I did too. That 
fucking rhymes. And I realized after, damn good move, because if someone's, you know, barreling down that highway and not paying attention, hey, they're not going to hit my back. You know, they're going to hit, you know, up ahead. But um, I try as often, as much as I can, to constantly be looking in my mirror. Right, especially when it starts getting congested. I keep it at 60 when it's congested, man. Sometimes 55, you know, depending on the speed limit, too. If the speed limit's 55 and it's congested, you better believe I'm going to stay in that second from the right lane, okay? So I'm not dealing with everybody jumping on the highway and having to constantly slow down. I can keep my pace and keep it at 52, right? Not too fast. And ensure that everybody else can go around me, right? Other trucks on the highway, behind me, I'll move over to my right, let them by, move back over to the left. No load is worth those people's lives. I know they say your life, but you gotta be thinking about everybody else's life. Something crazy that came in my mind the other day. You're going down a downgrade. It's icy, man. You hit that ice. And you are barreling towards stop traffic. You're on a mountain. What are you gonna do? Realistic thinking, baby. I mean, what a scenario, right? What a damn scenario. I thought about that so much. It kind of makes me want to quit. What would you do in that situation? Comment below. What is what a scenario, right? Damn. But it's good to have these kind of talks. You know, to constantly be thinking in that survival sort of mindset. Because in order to truly be a master of your craft, a professional of your craft, or trade, whatever, you've got to be going over a lot of different sorts of hypotheticals. And going over those hypotheticals with like-minded, like-trade individuals is extremely important. Something to think about, Mr. By the Mile, you're home. For discussions based on my knowledge and experience in trucking the red pill and survival, you can find all sorts of content when it comes to those three topics here on this channel. I hope you enjoy. I hope you like it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. As my experience increases, I will continue to share more and more and more every day. I've been vlogging since the beginning of this journey all the way back in trucking school in August of 2019. You guys, Smith System, man, exercise that safety every single day. It's all about check, 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 especially in flatbed. Check once, check twice, check three times, then take off and constantly be scanning constantly be looking around okay I'm, I'm very greatly going to stress safety every single day of my life on this channel because now I've got new drivers that I've recruited and it's important to nail these topics in every single video that I make no matter what the topic is red pill survival whatever always going to be reiterating safety and I want you guys to comment down below with the things that you're learning every single day with your trainers and among yourselves your trainer is only going to be able to teach you so much you guys you have to have to have to have to understand okay all that experience they've got they're only going to be able to show you so much the rest you have to learn on your own constantly be asking other drivers on that road questions when you see these heavy haul guys obviously they've got experience ask them questions man no question is stupid when it comes to people's lives because every day on that road that these bills get turning on this highway lives are at risk 
yours and everyone else's. Think about kids, bro. Think about kids, period.